juntos. This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. I'm Miss Jenna. Hello. So you're looking for a guy named Daryl? I am. Okay, so what happened? Explain. Well, I'm really confused because um, this situation has, like, never happened to me before. W- what situation? <laughs> a guy legit disappeared on me during a date. During the date? Yeah. How? Okay. Oh, this will be good. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. just I, I'm just curious as to why you want to call for another date, but, like, w- what happened? I met Daryl at my old job. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we were great colleagues, but he was he was my manager. So, like, even though I had a thing for him, nothing was going to happen. Right. But I went to a new job, and, you know, I noticed his birthday was coming up. Mm-hmm. So I sent him a text just, you know, saying happy birthday. And he responded, and he was, he was, he was surprised. He was like, wow, somebody actually remembered. Thank you. <laughs> so I was like, well, then, you know, it's, do you have any plans? You want to go out? And so we went to dinner uh, that night on his birthday. Okay. And we had the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I had the Sounds restaurant. to me like, like that was kind of cup. a loser. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he could, oh. You hit him up on his birthday and he was and automatically he had a free night? Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. You know? I, I, t- I had the restaurant bring out like a little cupcake. And everything. So it was, it was cute. He followed me back to my place, and the next thing that I knew, he left. Like, what you mean? Like, he, like, pulled up and then just kept on going, or? No, he, like, he came in, and then I, I went to my room because I wanted to change into something more comfortable. Mm-hmm. And when I came out, he was gone. It was, like, <laughs> so he actually five came- minutes. <laughs> like, I tried texting. I tried calling him that night and the next day, but, like, Nothing. Did he find anything? In- oh, there's, no, there's nothing to find. Like, my my living room is just a couch and a TV. And that's mm. why I left him. Well, we'll give him a call and see, uh, see what the deal is, all right? Awesome. Okay, stay quiet. Hello, this is Daryl. Hi, Daryl. Uh, so this is Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. And can I explain to you really quick why we're calling you? Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of confused. Though. This is my work, so how'd, how'd y'all get this number? So we got it from a girl who gave us your number to reach out to you. She basically would love to go on a date with you. And th- the reason that we're calling <laughs> you is because if you say yes, we'll let you decide where you want to go on the date and we'll pay for the whole thing. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure you got the right guy, but uh, you want to tell me who the girl is first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her name is Jenna, and uh, and apparently you went on a date with her, and she said that you basically disappeared on her. Uh, I mean, okay, I don't have to say yes, right? Uh, no, no, you don't have to say say yes, but she seems very confused. As... Why you just disappeared, like, in the middle. Yes, that's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm really surprised that she even wants to see me again. Uh, oh, that I she wants to see she'd be you? calling to cuss me out. You thought she'd be calling to cuss you out? Well, what'd you do? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> she said you'd, like, left in the middle of the day. Why would she be? But, like, what did she do to make you? She, I would want to cuss you out because you left in the middle of the day, but what was it that caused you to leave? Well, you know, it was my birthday. Uh, I was having a really bad day. <laughs> Not a single person said anything to me. Not even my parents, siblings. Oh, God. Yeah, no one. Well, except Jenna, right? I'm sitting there all of a sudden out of nowhere. She sends me a birthday text and uh, asks if uh, I had plans. Mm-hmm. Well, nobody remembered it was my birthday, so no, I didn't have plans. <laughs> oh, this is sad. <laughs> I'm sorry well, that, that was like, nice of her to cry. Right. But yet you left on the date. Right. What happened? We're missing something uh, here. All right. So we had a great date, right? We went to dinner and then went back to her place. So I'm sitting on the couch and she looks at me, you know, with that look and says, get comfortable. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why, but I thought she meant that we were going to like f- or something. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Right? So yeah. I got naked. <laughs> you got naked? Oh, <laughs> my God. Wait, you got... Na- 
So make yourself yeah. comfortable to you translate, let's get naked. Yes. I mean, I, I don't blame him for thinking naked. that, though. I'll be honest. That's what, did like, you just strip down? Well, that, that's that. suspect. So now but... you got naked and left. That makes it even... You need to further explain the situation. <laughs> All right. So I'm sitting on her couch, fuck naked, right? Oh, and I think I hear her coming down the stairs. So I thought I'd be sac- sexy a little bit, grab my dick, get in the position. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. God. <sighs> yeah. Do we really need to hear the rest? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. So check this. It wasn't Jenna coming downstairs. It was just some old lady. It was an old lady? Yeah, some random old lady came down the stairs. Like her mother? I, I don't know if it was her mom or grandma or aunt, man, but it was an old lady in a nightgown. <laughs> wait a minute. Out. Wait, so you were sitting there butt naked with your <laughs> in your hands, oh and some God. random yeah. lady comes down the stairs? Did she see you? Yeah, I was like, what the f*** did I get myself into? What kind of crazy s*** going on? <laughs> so what happened? I just, I grabbed my clothes and took the f*** off naked. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, what, what f*** is there? Okay, so, listen, I'm just going to tell you right now. Jenna's on the phone. Um, you know, this explains why my mom won't talk to me. That was your mother? <laughs> yes. I still live with my mom. Um, okay. Oh, my God. You don't think that you could have told him? I mean, I'm not saying, listen, I still don't get the stripping down naked with the dick in the hand. Yeah. Right, Captain but, Handy I mean, over here. I <laughs> yeah, no, like, listen, I'm sorry, I didn't expect he would, like, get naked and start jacking off on my couch. I mean, oh what the hell? Whoa, that yeah, was my birthday, you know? I thought <laughs> oh, that's right, we keep forgetting that. As long as everybody else in his life. What? I told you to get comfy. I wanted to, like, take well, off the did. Coat, turn on the TV, <laughs> maybe grab a drink, not strip down naked <laughs> on my couch and <laughs> with yourself. Well, I mean, I mean, now I know for next time. Okay. <laughs> oh, what is It's a little presumptuous actual- there. Okay, so listen, Daryl met your mom. <laughs> <laughs> your mom met Daryl. Your mom has seen more of Daryl than you have. Uh, Daryl, would you like to see Jenna again? <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know, why not? You know, I mean, this stuff will never happen again. No, no. I'm sorry. It's too late now. Like, oh, come my on. Mom is way... <laughs> my mom has seen the goods first. I can't. Oh, that's a good point, too. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I think we should see my ass, too, because okay. I've been you know over right? over Okay. Over <laughs> over. It's over. Yeah. The second date update on the 10th. Weekday mornings at 6, 10, 7, 10, and 8, 10. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up, Drew, at hot969boston.com. I'm going to make